Okay, so this is an easy way for you to tell the difference between hemoglobinopathy and iron deficiency in a patient who has microcytosis, so small size of red blood cells. And that typically is demonstrated by the MCV, the mean corpuscular volume being low, typically less than 80. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to trend the MCVs and go back as far as you can. And this helps with patients in the hospital who have a lot of blood drawn. Without patients, they may not have as much CBC. So this can be difficult. But if you have enough of a trend, you go back and you ask, have they ever had a normal MCV? Ever. And if they've ever had a normal MCV, then they're unlikely to have a hemoglobinopathy. If they have never had a normal MCV, then it is likely that they have a hemoglobinopathy because iron deficiency, your MCV can fluctuate. If you go back and you look at the trends and you see that there have been normal MCVs and sometimes they have been abnormal MCVs, so sometimes normal, sometimes low, then you know that it's more likely to be iron deficiency. It's more likely to be acquired because this person has had intermittent normal MCVs versus low MCVs. Okay, now here's the trick though. You have to make sure you know their history of chemotherapy. So if they've ever been on chemotherapy, and especially if they've taken hydroxyurea, chemotherapy and hydroxyurea tend to elevate the MCV. And so you want to do this evaluation with a caveat. For example, if the patient has microcytosis because they have a hemoglobinopathy, and for whatever reason, at some point in their lives, they were taking hydroxyurea or they were on chemotherapy, then they're going to normalize their microcytosis. And so that could be a little bit misleading. Okay, so it's a short and simple way to say, okay, does this person have a hemoglobinopathy or not? If the person's ever had a normal MCV, it's unlikely they have a hemoglobinopathy. But if they've had normal alternating with low, then it's more likely to be iron deficiency. You definitely want to do like a full evaluation, and that's not going to be enough to tell you whether the patient has iron deficiency or a hemoglobinopathy, but it's one quick and dirty way. And I just wanted to share that with you today. All right. Good talking with you. I'll talk to you next time.